Welcome to On Point for September 9th. Before we get started, make sure to follow us on social media so you don't miss anything going on in the county. And now, here's your Polk News Beat. Two three-year contracts with Tri-County Human Services were approved by the Board of County Commissioners at their September 6th meeting aimed to help residents break the cycle of addiction. Tri-County Human Services operates men's and women's residential treatment facilities to assist individuals with behavioral health and addiction problems transition back to independent living. Their new beginning transition center programs seek to break the cycle of addiction and related judicial intervention by teaching the skills needed to successfully re-enter the community and become productive citizens. These contracts, effective October 1st through September 30th, 2025, will provide services for adults that are at or below 200% of the federal poverty guidelines. Soon, Polk County will begin construction of a bridge designed to link two phases of the Bone Valley ATV Park, making the transition between amenities safer. The board approved a $3.5 million contract with Conan Graham Incorporated to construct a new 163-foot single-span bridge crossing County Road 630 at the Bone Valley ATV property. In 2009, Polk County purchased 200 acres from Mosaic Fertilizer LLC for the development of the ATV park. The facility, now known as Bone Valley ATV Park, opened to the public in February 2015. In July 2017, the county exercised an agreement for purchasing another 300 additional acres, subject to Mosaic completing some reclamation and secure permitting to continue the reclamation. This project is partially funded through a federally funded grant through the Florida Department of Environmental Protection. When Polk County was first incorporated in 1861, all official business transactions were recorded by pen on paper and eventually bound into journals kept at the courthouse. Time weather storage facilities and eventually just the deterioration of old paper has had a devastating effect on Polk's recorded history. Two years ago, the county embarked on a process to save our history. Clerk and Comptroller Stacy Butterfield presented the board with Polk County's first ever deed book, Deed Book A, which was recently fully preserved by Cofile Technologies. This volume contains the handwritten transaction whereby Jacob Summerlin in 1867 deeded 40 acres of land for the county seat and the county government in Bartow. The preservation of these historical records is dedicated to the residents of Polk County. The million dollar project includes saving as much of the old journals as possible and digitizing the information so that it is available to everyone via the internet. That's all for your Polk News Beat this week. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You can find us on social at Polk County Gov FL. My name is Brittany Olson. See you next week. Thank you for watching. For more information, go to polk-county.net.